everyone, welcome to the segment 3 video for module 1, Basics of Measurement and Uncertainty. Here I will explain the experiment aim, experiment apparatus, basic theory, data and processing to be carried out as well as the format for making a practicum report. The goals of this experiment are 1. Determine the least count of various measuring instruments 2. Determine the density of brass aluminium block and iron bowl 3. Determine laboratory pressure with the correction 4. Determine the volume of the wire using a microscope And this is the experiment apparatus that we used in this experiment the basic theory of this module starting with measurement. Measurement is comparing a quantity with the unit that is used as a reference and is needed to be studied so that events that will occur can be predicted strongly. Measuring device is an instrument to determine the value or the size of a physical quantity or variable and there are two types of measuring device, namely analog measuring device and digital measuring device. The working principle of geometric measuring instruments can be more easily explained through its main components, namely sensor, modifier, indicator, and recorder, as well as data analysis. Measurement is always accompanied by uncertainty, including caused by the least count, that is a scale that cannot be divided anymore. The accuracy of a measuring device depends on the value of its list count. For example, this ruler has the list count of a quarter of a unit, and non-use scale is enhanced the accuracy of measuring device readings. For example, this measurement has a main scale 6.7 with the list count 0.1, so the non-use scale is 0.7, and the result is 6.77. In measuring, there are several terms that need to be known. First, accuracy is closeness of the device measurement with the actual value. Precision is measurement results which is produced from a measurement process. Sensitivity is ratio of the output signal or a response of the measuring device. Resolution is the smallest change of the measured value that can be responded by a measuring device. And error is a number that shows deviation from the actual value of the measured variable. Then, there is uncertainty. For a single measurement, the measurement results accompanied by uncertainty can be written as x plus minus delta x with delta x is a half of list count. Delta x for repeated measurement is a half times to x maximum minus x minimum. And the relative uncertainty is delta x divided by x. If a variable is a function of other variables accompanied by uncertainty, then this variable will also be accompanied by uncertainty. This is known as uncertainty propagation. The uncertainty propagation formula can be seen in the table 3.1. And for the significant features are digits of a value which will be reported in the final results of the measurement with the formula 1 minus log relative uncertainty. Next, we can do linear regression to calculate how much the dependent variable y changes to the independent variable x with a directly proportional relationship. Next, we go to the data and processing. For experiment 1, which is the determination of the LC of the measuring instrument, you will be given 10 measuring instruments whose list of measuring instruments is in the table 5.1. From the measuring instrument that are mined the main LC and non-use LC and write the values in the table. If the measuring instrument doesn't have a non-use scale, then just write a dash. Next, experiment 2 is the measurement of dimensions and mass of brass block. Write down the results of the 6 measurements of the length, width, and height of the block that have been made in the following table. Then each length, width, and height are calculated the average and standard deviation. Then calculate the volume and the propagation of uncertainty of the volume. Next, we calculate the mass density of the brass block 
and the propagation of uncertainty of the mass density. And don't forget to calculate the significant number so that we can write down the result. And do the same things for measurement of dimension and mass of steel ball with this following formula. For the third experiment, measurement physical data of laboratorium condition, start by writing down the data given and then do linear regression and use this formula to get the corrected pressure. In the last experiment, for measurement of wire dimension using microscope, we first calculate the volume of the wire using this formula and then calculate the propagation of uncertainty of the volume and significant number so that we can get the volume of wire. Well, that's the video for segment 3 of this module. Thank you and have a nice day.